I truly can't even make this stuff up. Mm. I cannot believe I did that. So I am not letting the last two shows just completely um, break my spirit. Um, I found one in Cincinnati, I think about it. So it's January 14th, and it's at Ryan Guy's Brewery. We have moments. <laughs> it's like an advent calendar for pills, but you have to open a Prego lady every single day. Good morning, I am very tired today. Asher, I don't know why, but he's been waking up at 6 a.m. every day um, and going to bed really late. It's like he just doesn't need sleep. Um, I just got off the phone with, so good-ish news, I got off the phone with my, um, I have 2% battery left, pharmacy because I, my doctor's office ended up saying if I send them a photo of a negative pregnancy test, they will go through the I pledge system, reboot it, I can sign again, and then um, Walgreens can order. So that happened this morning and everything went through and then I just got a phone call with the pharmacist at Walgreens and he said it was going to be 600 and something, it was almost $700, like 690 something dollars. Um, and for acne, and I have to do that for seven months. That is not worth it because I don't, we don't have that money. Um, and so he's like, do you want me to order it? And I was like, no, let me like look around for coupons. Um, I found some, but like with coupons, like you don't really know if they're going to work. I have to go in person to check. So I found one on RX Saver and one on um, GoodRx. And Walgreens is ex more expensive than other pharmacies. I wish CVS would have just ordered it for me because it was like almost $100 cheaper. The coupon I found was, whether it worked or not. But I found one for $202 and one for $173. And they have, they put it in for a two month supply. Um, the thing with these are, uh, right now I'm starting on one pill, but it might go up to two pills soon. And so it's going to get more and more expensive. So I don't, I don't honestly don't know what I'm going to. Don't know what I'm gonna do because of everything um, financially. So I don't I don't know if I want to. If I start, I'm gonna have to continue it. I mean, I don't have to, but that would be a waste not to just finish it. Hopefully, I don't ever need two pills in a day because that's double the price with acne. You, it's a cosmetic thing once you reach age 25. So 25 and under, it is a medical condition. So insurance pays for it. After 25, it does not. And I knew this. I just didn't expect it would be this expensive. Honestly, I feel like adult acne should be medicine because why do we still have acne? Whatever, you're about to die, the camera is. So I will update you once we go to Walgreens here in a few minutes um, when I get back. And then we have to clean this room. <sighs> morning it is Wednesday and the show is Sunday I had filmed on Monday my afterthoughts and um, feelings and also just like giving you the breakdown so maybe I included some of that maybe I didn't I just felt like I was super whiny without even looking at the footage I just like came out of that being like I think that might have came across uh, too whiny so <laughs> keep what are you doing what? What? Okay, um, I'm gonna go uh, clean up these candy canes and I will see you guys in the same outfit cleaning up this room soon. <laughs> if you can hear that noise, it's because my machine is on, my embroidery machine. And, oh, this is why I do not like custom stuff. No, because my machine is always off half an inch. And I 
put the the hoop on half an inch over to the side to make up for that half an inch that it's off except I put it going the wrong direction and so it is off an entire inch now and it's a custom design for my <laughs> as a present for this one is for my husband from my in-laws but it's on a 40 to 50 dollar Under Armour sweatshirt. I can't go buy a new one of those. Like I'm not even obviously getting paid for this. Ah! Oh, I hate. I'm fine ruining my own stuff. Um, but I did everything, and oh, I thought I was doing it perfectly. I was like, this is gonna be great. I. Mm. I cannot believe I did that. I'll show you guys when it's done. I'm so mad at myself. Ah. Okay, I just took it off the machine because it literally just finished. I need to, oh, I, was, I was in my living room researching how to get this hoodie, um, like where I can get it and how much it's gonna be. And it's $55, I was wrong on the price. The tag is still on it, um, but Looking at it, it doesn't look off as much as I thought it did. Um, so I'll show you guys. I'm just going to measure it so I know exactly how much it's off. Okay, let me put it on a flat surface. It's definitely off, though. I'm gonna put it on and see how bad it looks. I'm just gonna put it over my sweatshirt because he's an extra large and it's obviously not my size. You use that as a center point and then you know that's off. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go look in the mirror. <laughs> I'm so upset. I did a last ditch effort to salvage this sweatshirt by purchasing an embroidery file of a line football, like a half of a football. Um, I'm not, uh, loving it. <laughs> uh, I, but I tried my best. I was like, let me put something on the side to center it. It just, it doesn't look good. And now I'm so afraid. I still have three more to do. I'm so afraid. Plus, buy another one. Does that look awful? I'm trying to talk myself out of buying $50 sweater that I might end up messing up again because I don't know maybe okay so <laughs> does it look okay <laughs> I need to go look in the mirror <laughs> I wish this were a little bolder the uh, photo looked like it was gonna come out better and don't worry about the um like marks that's gonna come out in the wash okay I'll I'll be back now I have his brother's sweatshirt, which is going to be in yellow, and I do have the center spot. This is going to be really difficult to see. Um, a faint line. I marked it with my water-soluble marker, which I should have done in the first place and didn't because I am so dumb. Um, so we're going to do this one and see how it turns out. We're sorry. Our staff is answering other calls. Please hold on and we'll be with you shortly. Why is my, my ponytail is just like so loose today and I hate that feeling. Um, I also got into a new show. So I am not letting the last two shows just completely um, break my spirit. But what I am doing is just being um, a little more a selective but also still trying new things because what I've done for right um I found one in Cincinnati which is only um like it's within an hour of me and Cincinnati has a really cool like artsy uh areas which most cities have and so Vine Street is one of them so I found um a marketing a small business like event thing called Art on Vine and I'm doing I just got accepted I literally just read the email no, no, pee -pee. Come 
He loves playing with my machine. I just got the email that I was accepted into the January 14th event and um, I only have an eight foot table so it's gonna be me needing to be a little more creative with my uh, setup. What it, how did you find that? Get that. What, how did, oh that's not okay. Um, so it must be creative. I have plenty of time to think about it. So it's January 14th and it's at Ryan Geist Brewery. So that's going to be fun. I am going to try to convince my husband to do it with me since it's at a brewery. I feel like he would hate it, but also enjoy it at the same time. <laughs> um, and it's going to be a like night, well, like a day to night show. I think it ends at 8. PM. That's not for you. Um, so I need to, we'll have someone watch Ash for us, which would be my mom. So yeah, so that's going to be in the works. That's going to be my next show. And I have a few more that I, um, favorited like in my bookmarks on my computer that, um, you, the applications don't even open up until certain days. And I have it in my calendar of the day the application opens up. So then I know I need to go in and do it. So that's kind of my plan. I'm going to do that. Why are you being so naughty? Come here. Okay, I'm going to finish up. I need to start. Um, I wasn't talking, but like this one turned out good. I need to start his son's sweater now. So I need to figure out the sizing on that. And then I need to figure out how to do Asher's since Randy's sweatshirt has that like off to the side football. I, I guess I should do that on Asher's too. It's just gonna be really tricky to like get it the exact same since I messed, I'm gonna have to mess it up again, but like on purpose this time. Okay, you need to go over here. Mess up stuff over there. All right, I'm gonna check out. I'll probably be off for the day and then I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow and I need to wash the sweatshirts and I'll show you the final outcome of them. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish them today because obviously Randy comes home in an hour and I need to have them out of his sight so that he doesn't see them since they're obviously from his parents. So, I'll see you soon, bye. left in my window of being able to get it without having to do another pregnancy test appointment um and if you want to know what day it is it is the day before uh christmas eve i don't think they're even open so I, I don't know i think i have one day left technically because i don't think they're open on christmas don't quote me on that there are more than three callers ahead of you 45 minutes i just hung up and redialed because there's no way that they remembered to answer the phone um, and now there's people in front of me, so they're probably like, oh, wow, it's really, you. I'm just going to go in, I, you know, I'm done. I'm going to go in person. I truly can't even make this stuff up. Um, 45 minutes on hold, <laughs> hung up because obviously they weren't going to answer. Went, you guys saw, I left. We went to Walgreens. I was in there for, so I first walked up and I was like, please give me good news and tell me my medicine is here. Um, and the girl, and this is the first time I've ever talked to this girl, so she obviously didn't like 
there was no back and forth between us over the last month. So she said, we don't have the medicine, it's out of stock. And I said, before you give up on this right now, um, it was ordered twice this week and it was ordered once last week. And then as I was saying that, someone that had dealt with me in the last month um, walked by her and was like, yeah, we definitely have that medicine. I saw it, it's in a big like white box. And she was like, okay. And so she goes to the back and I was like, I'll be back. And then I came back like, 15 minutes later and I came up and she was like, yeah, we don't have it. And um, by the time we get it in, it's gonna be Tuesday, which is past my eye pledge time. And I was like, are you sure you don't have it? Um, because it, it has been ordered a couple times already. And then she's like, let me check with someone. She went over to um, one of the guys that I had worked with before and he's like, we have it. Um, but then she came back, she's like, we don't know where it is. Uh, so it's lost. That's where I left Walgreens on that note, um, is that they can't find it. It's not an oral medicine they stock, so they don't have it. And like, there's not a spot for it. Um, but she's like, come back at two. There is the girl that ordered it in, <laughs> will be in, and she should know where it is. And this is my last hope at this point. If it is not, if they cannot find it at the shift change at 2 p.m., um, and then we don't get it. So, I mean, like emotionally and mentally, I'm already expecting it not to be there. I didn't even bother saying like anything about being on hold because I realized why I was on hold for so long because I went in there um, and they just have the phone just like off the uh, receiver. They don't, it's not even like, there's no, uh, what are you might even trying to say? There's no ringing happening for them to pick up the phone because they don't have the phone. Like they, I think they did that on purpose because they were getting calls and they didn't want to answer them. So that's why I was never answered. Um, rude, really. <laughs> I was really nice though because they're not gonna help someone that's like mean or frustrated. And so I, I, whenever I do interactions like that, like you just like have to be your nicest, even if you are frustrated inside, because the person like that you're talking to is not the one responsible, you know? I don't really know who is responsible in this case, uh, but it's never the person that I, I'm specifically talking to. So anyways, I'm praying that when the shift change happens, which actually just happened. So like there was a 10 minute, I could have just waited there an extra 10 minutes for the person to come in, but Asher needed his nap badly. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go home and then once Randy, because Randy's at lunch with someone, once he gets back, I can go in by myself and deal with it, I guess. I'm not even gonna bother calling because like, that's, that makes me angry. It's just waiting on hold for that long. So cross your fingers, we'll have like good news soon. I just like, what I'm most stressed about, I'm not stressed about it going out of effect. Um, the eye pledge and not being able to get it because um, there are cheaper pharmacies so like I can use this as an experience to get it cheaper. What I am upset about is that my doctor's office, this is not the first time that this has happened, it's the second time this has happened, it looks like a me problem. It doesn't look like I've just had really bad experiences with pharmacies. It's a me problem to them, right? They're gonna just think I am some like ditzy lady who can't get her stuff together and just doesn't pick things up. And that is not the case. I have been so active and uh, present with trying to get this medicine and they are not gonna see that. And no matter how much I say like, it was on me, you know they're gonna think it was me, right? How many times can a pharmacy mess up? Apparently a lot. So that is what is happening and I'm starving. So I'm gonna go eat. Almost forgot to show you guys the final product. So this is his brother's. This is his brother's uh, football team's colors, which is yellow, white, and black. And then um, his son's, which is just on the yellow and black. They didn't have under armor of the hoodies for the littles. And then Randy's is this one, which honestly, I think it turned out okay. I already sent it to them. They said they liked it. Um, so it's centered with the football now. Uh, I'm still, I cannot believe I did that, but I think this looks good. And then I have, I obviously had to mess Asher's up on purpose, so I made it off center and put the football on his, and so his is matching too, and it looks cute. So 
that is how that turned out that was another stressor but this is done now i already washed them i am feeling like i really don't like my um tacky spray because for some reason and it was really just on randy's so i don't know if it was a sweatshirt the material on the inside not wanting to release the stabilizer but his on the inside still has like some of it like stuck to it the sticky it's not sticky anymore because I washed it but it just has some of the fabric still on it so I think it's going to take a few more washes to get it off but that is annoying and I don't want to sell sweaters like that if it's going to stick on you know that just looks sloppy to me even though it's not like it's not a big deal it is <laughs> so those are done and now today what I have to do is I have to make my sister two of my anxious coping skills, this one, sweatshirts. She's doing a custom one with my beautiful comfort color blue ones that I still don't know what I want to do with. Um, I'll show it to you. And then she's doing a gray for herself. Look how gorgeous that color is. I like that color so much that I don't want to put anything on it because I'm afraid that whatever I put on it, what if it doesn't sell, you know? And then, and then those poor sweaters. So I need to figure that out. And then she needs two anxious cups, so I need to make those too. Or did she get distracted? I need to look at her message. Obviously we'll not do anything until I look at the message again. Um, and then that's all. Oh, I'm gonna make cookies today too, because tomorrow is Christmas Eve. No, tomorrow's the 23rd. I have my days backwards. Is today, okay, tomorrow is Christmas, no. Tomorrow is the 23rd, it is the 22nd today. I am a whole day ahead. Um, tomorrow's the I have to go to my sister's house and then on Christmas Eve we're going to Randy's house and then Christmas we're just here with ourselves which is great so I'm gonna have to get some stuff off this memory card because I put way too much on it I love you see you soon we have the medicine I have never in my life felt more nervous about having this inside my car as I went into another store then with this because it took so long to get I was like with how many signs the universe has told me not to take this and how it shouldn't happen someone's gonna break my car and steal it like that's just the next step right you have it someone's taking it away from you um no one did it is here I've never gotten such a large bag for a prescription before like what is in here I haven't opened it yet so I'm gonna unboxing on camera what is this comes in a big box we have 40 milligram this is I don't know if it's the highest strength that's one of the highest ones if it's not and that's interesting <laughs> and we have more boxes inside of it this feels like more 10, 20, 30, 40. No, nope, that's 60, 60 boxes of Accutane here. <laughs> or six boxes, 60 pills of Accutane. Technically, I really only need three. I have another month's worth because I think I had told you guys um, with holidays, they wanted to make sure I didn't run out by the time I got back. So I need to actually change my appointment to later because like obviously we're not starting November 30th as planned. <laughs> it's December 22nd, so tonight's the first film and I'll keep you guys updated as always on this journey but I have nothing to say about it yet other than the fact that I may have lied to Randall. Fib really just left out details of how much it was because he asked and I was like mm, I got a coupon I use a coupon it was um two pat i said it was two months of pills and it was like how much was it uh still obviously floating around the answer and i was like a couple hundred dollars but he doesn't know is a couple hundred per month so like you do math there um but yeah so that's gonna be the most expensive part of this journey we have other than these two probably probably only three more months to purchase and i'm going to get them to a different pharmacy that's going to cut down the cost by a couple hundred um so overall i should in the long run um it should save me money on not needing acne products anymore like nice products or for me not so nice products but um yeah that'll save me some money and just like a mental and emotional health it'll save me so that is all it's getting really dark i need a shower um and i just have to do a few other things so i may or may not take you with me 
that has been a journey. That has been a journey. Love you guys. Positive vibes are happening again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
before all these precautions became a thing. It's kind of sad. Um, I did get a tiny bit of a giggle out of the ladies though opening this. A little bit. But I think I'm, I'm glad it's here. I think that if I, I wouldn't be dumb when I was younger. Um, I definitely wouldn't like, I, this is not for me, but for someone maybe that's like a teenager, maybe they need this. Maybe that will be an extra safeguard for them to uh, just like be extra cautious. I hope so because that's, I mean, it is really sad. Now I'm going to be like looking at people in a different way of like, was your mom on Accutane when they had you? You know what I mean? Anyhow, uh, <laughs> we are going to get off now and I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Let's, let's be honest, probably tomorrow. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I did upload a video today, December 23rd, of my Dayton market, which is my second to last Christmas market and I have one more to upload after that. And then guess what? We're going to be like up to date. And my goal is to be within like one to two weeks, not three weeks. We're three weeks out. So I'm going to um, squish it to two weeks and then one week. I'll still upload every week though. I need to find a February market. I think I'm gonna do one market a month. Okay, not the one this video. Love you. Just tripping on day. Dreams got dirty, little lullabies playing on repeat. Might as well just ride around the nursery and count sheep.